This is Excalibur Zero here, and today I'm going to show you this kind of um, simple Technic setup that I use for when I play games with Technic mod on sometimes. Um, so sort of um, lately I've been playing through um, a new wor new single player world of Mind Test, um, and I've been trying it with um, some, um, different like, creatures, mods, and Mods mods on, and I decided to have Technic in it as well. And um, as I've been playing through, I've gotten a bit far through the process of getting like um, got up like messy tools and stuff. Um, I haven't really played around with like um, setting up Technic machines and stuff by actually getting the materials and then crafting them and all that. Um, so for this run, I decided to do that because most runs I play through, I kind of just give myself some of the um, stuff through like the give command and stuff like that, but this time I decided to do it totally through um, just crafting. Um, so here's kind of a basic setup that I've um, come up with. That I've got, this is what I have so far. Um, basically battery box, switching station, coal generator, um, solar panel, grinder, tool workshop, and an electric furnace. And it's all connected with um, basic wiring. And this setup is pretty useful because um got the solar panel always going during the day so that way it um charges up the battery. So that um at any point you can use either the grinder, um, tool workshop or the electric furnace. Which is good for once you get um, it's good to have the tool workshop because then you could um Repair your tools instead of having to go and get um make new ones, especially when you get up to messy. Um, so that way you can use your um messy crystals that you find for other things. And um, and there's the electric furnace. Um, I'm using this a lot lately because um I've been starting to get a pipe work set up going to connect um this kind of station area where I am now to kind of my base, which is down that way. Um, so I can just put things in here, and then just go like that, and then it'll set it down. So I'll do that, I've been, I have to get the pneumatic tubes, you have to put together like six things of leaves, and then you get um, an item that you need to put through the furnace in order to get this, which you then use to make the tube segments. And that this song, um, which Phoenix works um, well for that. So I have um in my base down there. I have um a regular working furnace, but um I need to have tree wood for that. Well, not I don't have to have tree wood, but I need to have some type of flammable stuff. And I've normally been using um. So I'm playing this with um the um, more trees mod. I've been using wood from giant trees, as you can see I've harvested this one here, and I've gone up through it with cobblestone to be able to get to the higher parts of the tree in order to get the wood from it. Um, and that works pretty well, but um, I like to have the technique available so that way um, I can have the electric furnace going at any point. I don't really need to restock that on anything because I've got the solar panel running in the back, which gives it constant um, charge of power, and stores it in the battery box. And then I have a backup coal generator, just in case I need to do anything at night time. Um, that's really all there is to this um, basic setup I like to use. Um, and <laughs> yeah, that's really about it. Um, and I need to have the I need to, the UV grinder when I was doing stuff to make the solar panel. So before I had the solar panel, I was just running the coal generator and then just chucking a little bit of coal into that, and I would chuck the battery box. And now that I have the solar panel, I just run that pretty much in order to get power during the day, and then just use the battery box for power at night. Um, and then, of course, the switching station just kind of controls the whole thing automatically. Um, 
But that's really about it for this video. Um, so if you like this video, um, be sure to check out some of my other videos. Um, like, subscribe, comments. Um, and so that's about it. Um, this is Calibre Zero, signing off.